We introduce in this video the concept of row space of a matrix. Okay, let us call A an arbitrary um, M by N matrix. So the entries will be A11, A12, till A1N, A21, A22, till A2N, and then A31, etc. And the last line will be AM1, AM2, AMN. So the rows, let us say 1. So if you look at this row here, it will be A11, A12, till A1N. Okay, then we'll, we'll have row 2. And the last one will be row M. So that will be AM1, AM2, AMN. OK, so if you look at these rows as vectors in the vector field KN, we say that these vectors they span a subspace of Kn. And we are going to call this the row space of A. Okay, so this space is uh, linked with this uh, matrix. Okay, so the row space of mat matrix A is. the subspace of Kn spanned by these vectors. And we can write um, row space of A is the same as span of R1, R2, Rn. Oh, sorry, Rm here, Rm. Okay, so the row space of A, it will be the span, the, the space spanned by vector R1, R2, Rm. Now, what about the columns? Well, so we have the column space of A, meaning the columns um, C1, C2, three, C3, Cn, so 1, 2, 3, 4, till N, not M this time, these vectors from the these columns, so view as uh, vectors, of course over the field K, they will be vectors in Km. Okay, so these vectors they span a subspace of Km, and we are going to to call this column space of A. Okay, so here column space of A it will be spanned by vectors C1, C2, C. N. Okay, now um, it's more or less obvious here, but let us say the column space A, if you look well, it will be the row space of A transpose. This is pretty obvious. It's a matter of transposing the, the matrix. I'm going to leave a quick theorem here without proof. Row equivalent matrices will have the same row space. OK, let us do a quick exercise. Let us say we have matrix A, 1, 1, 5, 2, 3, 13, B, 1, minus 1, minus 2, 3, minus 2, minus 3, 
and see 1 minus 1 minus 1, 4 minus 3 minus 1, 3 minus 1 and 3. And let us see what um, if these three uh, matrices they have the same row space. So matrices um, they will have the same row space if and only if their row canonical forms have the same non-zero rows. Okay, so we have to row reduce each matrix to a row canonical form. Okay, so I reduce this one. So this is a, a very easy. Also, a. I'm reducing this one to this one. Okay. So A will be this one, 1, 0, 2, 0, 1, 3. B will be 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 3. I hope I did not made I did not make any mistake. 1, 0, 2, 0, 1, 3, 0, 0, 0. Okay, so um, so as you can see, um, A and C they have the same row space, right? A and C. Um, so by canonical form I mean 1, 0, 2, 0, 1, 3. 1, 0, 2, 0, 1, 3. And as you can see, B does not have the same canonical form. Okay? So A and C have the same row space and B does not. Let me emphasize this. Matrices have the same row space. We are looking for the row space. So matrices have the same row space if and only if their row canonical forms, not only a simple reduction, okay, their row canonical forms have the same non-zero rows.